Hello everyone, my name is Mohammad Tahseen Khan from foodmag.in. So today a very special guest is present with us, so Dr. T. V. Raman Rao, who is expert in post-harvesting technology in fruits and vegetables. Sir would share a small experience with us and a small talk in food technology and latest trends in food technology. So sir, please continue the talk. I am T.V. Raman Rao from Sadar Patel University, Gujarat. Fruits and vegetables are containing a lot of uh, minerals and vitamins required for our uh, body. And in each season, as the weather conditions are changing, our body requirements also may be vary. Second thing that is uh, needed related to the, the preservation of these fruits and vegetables, as uh, now the central government as well as the governments of uh, several state, states are uh, promoting the horticulture to crops for the reason that the, from the point of nutritional aspects of the population, consumption of the fruits and vegetables is very necessary. Therefore, in our country, the production of fruits and vegetables uh, is, uh, has reached to the, the maximum level and now we are uh, in the second position in the world from the point of uh, fruits and vegetables production. And in that context, if we see, all over the world, a lot of research is going on to develop the different methods for extending the shelf life and also for the valuation of the harvested products. There are several methods like uh, the controlled atmosphere and modified atmosphere and also refrigeration and also the surface coatings and also there are physical methods like uh, elicitors, chemical methods and also application of the chemical. So likewise, Several people in the world are trying in different ways for improving the shelf life and also for the improvement of the quality that is in the form of value edge. In that context, I would say that uh, one of the best options available to the farmers is uh, the edible coating technology. It is like uh, they give a coating of a thin layer over the surface of the harvested product. And as a result of that coating on the surface of this, <coughs> there will be prevention of the moisture loss. So once that uh, the moisture loss is prevented, naturally it will be having the longer shelf life. And this immersion, it is possible that uh, the farmers, they can simultaneously grow this uh, emulsion uh, product yielding plants, like for example, aloe vera. Aloe vera can be grown in one corner of their field along with the crop, major crop. So when the crop is coming to the harvesting stage, they can have the aloe vera gel and uh, they can make that gel, gel as the emulsion. In that, harvested product can be immersed. And once that is done, it may be taken care to, to prevent the disease development and also it will be forming a layer on the surface of the product and that will be preventing the moisture loss. And this immersion as it is uh, having uh, the medicinal compound, if you are directly consuming along with the coating, that will be also helpful for promoting your health. And besides that, there are also methods like uh, the uh, physical elicitor treatments like uh, heat treatment and also some people are trying with uh, the uh, sanitization like uh, ozone treatment and also alkalized water treatment. Likewise, there are physical methods and besides that, very recently, we are working on photosensitization. In this photosensitization method, we may be trying to give a kind of uh, the photo absorbing components in the form of surface coating. On that, we may be exposing the product to the different wavelengths of the light and therein we are using LED lights and that may be taking care to kill the pathogens growing on the surface of the organism and that will be able to extend the shelf life of the plants. And if that is going to work, then it will be very cheap for the farmers. They can have a small chamber like thing in their village or their uh, uh, house itself or they can have a community level chamber and then in that all the farmers they can bring their product there they can have the treatment for their material and thereby they can have the extended shelf life for the material. Students who are interested to have the entrepreneurship they can have their own business uh, having the knowledge of the post technology 
will be highly beneficial for them to run the business related to the preservation of the fruits and vegetables. And also for the research, there is a lot of scope. One can think of uh, directly dealing with this kind of thing. And uh, there is also scope for the civil engineers because when you are having the chamber construction or, uh, or the storage uh, go-downs and all, civil engineers are having the job opportunities, electrical engineers are having the job opportunities, refrigeration engineers are having the opportunities, electrical engineers, electronics. Likewise, they are also having several, there are several uh, areas wherein other subject related uh, people also will be having employment connected to the post harvest technology and post harvest technology specialists they are anyhow having great demand in the market in the near future so as there is a, a tremendous increase in the production of the fruits and vegetables year by year is increasing and as governments are also having a lot of uh, keen interest on reducing the post harvest losses there will be great scope for everybody that are involved in the post harvest so this is just my view that I shared here and thank you very much for allowing me to have this interaction and thanks a lot for giving me the opportunity to share my view with you. And also I came to know that uh, I am very happy to know that in fact that uh, they have started a startup program and also they have uh, uh, planned to have uh, their own website in the name of uh, food, foodmac.in. So I am very very glad to know that uh, the students of the school technology department they have this kind of innovative idea of having their own uh, startup program that I could see that when they have approached me to, to clear several of their doubts and also several of their ideas with their young minds I was very pleased to have the interaction with them and uh, once again thanking the Indian University authorities and to the authorities and also my sincere thanks to the authorities of Indian University for giving me this opportunity and also I sincerely thank all those who remain present during my guest lecture and especially my best wishes to the students of the food technology branch and I wish even their startup program also a grand success. Thanks, thanks a lot to all of you. Thanks so much.